Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. This is a new project that I'm starting and this is the first video of the project. So welcome. My name's Danny, I'm 28 years old and I'm from the UK. I spent nearly 23 years living in the UK, predominantly playing rugby up until I was 20, nearly 23, and I got injured. So what I've done after that is I bought a 16 pound camera from eBay and I started making travel videos on YouTube. I created a YouTube channel called Dishy Dan the Traveling Man. <laughs> Dishy because of my love for food, so dishes, Dan because it's my name and you can sort of guess the rest, the traveling man. And I actually made travel videos in that niche on YouTube going around Asia, Australia, uh, Southeast Asia. And after I started doing that, I transitioned into making wedding videos, events, corporate videos and different things like that through Dishy Dan Media, which was a branch off. And it's something I love. I have a massive passion for creating content, for creating videos and just connecting with people and telling stories. So I wanna tell you what led me to make the Future Fuel Cafe. Well, the reason for that is it actually takes me back to being a kid uh, and actually <laughs> starts off, if you remember the indestructible little Nokia where you used to play snakes and the more little cubes you get, the longer it would get, the more difficult it would get. I remember that blowing my mind as being a little kid. I was like, wow. And then the next step, I remember being 12 years old, 2007, and Steve Jobs, he comes out and he makes the first iPhone. He announces it to the world. And I remember looking at that and thinking, wow, that's a long way from a Nokia to the iPhone. And that was a massive advancement. And I would class that as a point of where we haven't turned back because now every phone pretty much on the planet is a touchscreen one. And it's just been a snowball effect where it's gone faster and faster and faster and faster until it leads me to this point now, AI, artificial intelligence. And this has blown my mind. For example, something you may have heard of, chat GPT. I will go into more detail about this after, but just to say for now, the name chat GPT. I believe right now, as I sit here, we have entered the next phase of that where you had Steve Jobs with the iPhone, game changer. You had stuff with the blockchain stuff, with crypto, game changing. You've had stuff with all of the social media, game changing. Now I think we're at that point and actually in my lifetime, being honest, I think it's actually the biggest change that's come out and I actually wanna tell you more about that. So let me tell you a little bit about the Future Fuel Cafe. Well, simply in a nutshell, I want it to be a place where people can come who have an interest in AI and learn about AI, how it develops, how it changes, and how it can be integrated with business, how it can be used to start new businesses and create new opportunities for people. I also want the Future Fuel Cafe to be a community. I want it to be a community of like-minded people who like myself want to achieve their dreams, goals, ambitions, and achieve things. And they want to do that through dedication, hard work, and focus. And I want it to be a positive environment where people love to come to learn, connect with people, and learn about this new technology because it's insanely amazing and it creates so many more opportunities. It's also really important to me that with every video, you get something useful from it, that it's informative and then it helps you learn. And that's one of my biggest things. That's what I love with video content. And with every video, I wanna not only just learn myself, but make sure that the people who are watching it, it benefits them. And with every video it improves and it gets better. Like that's, that's the level of possibility that I really see. And that's what excites me because I am so hungry to learn and ultimately get to my personal goal. And I don't know what yours is, but whatever your personal goal is, mine is to have a life of financial freedom. And that's through these videos, what I wanna to work to. And the next thing is to tell you why I've called it the Future Fuel Cafe. The future, because like I've already said before, I believe we've now entered that next phase. And like I also said, in my personal lifetime, I think it's the biggest shift that I've experienced and seen and the possibilities are endless. Fuel because I'm ready to fuel myself to create the future that I want, the life that I envision for myself, which was a massive element of having financial freedom, but also learning and I'm ready to do anything to do that, to have the pure focus and dedication to doing that and holding myself to account. And honestly, cafe, because I love coffees, I love cafes and all of my best ideas, if I'm honest, always come when I'm at a cafe or when I'm just relaxed, I'm 
just sitting there watching the ward go by. And you'll notice with the Future Fuel Cafe logo, it's an astronaut holding a coffee cup. <laughs> and the honest reason for that is, is because ever since I've been a kid, I've loved astronauts, I've loved space. To me, space is the next frontier, like they said in Star Trek. I think they've said that in Star Trek. We'll, we'll roll with that, yeah. <laughs> That's why an astronaut is the logo. And holding a coffee cup, because I love coffee. And yeah, <laughs> it looks cool, we'll go with that. In no way do I see myself as an expert or a person who can speak with authority about AI. I would class myself as a student who has an absolute burning desire and passion to learn more about AI. And I think it can do a lot of good if used right, which I will go on and explain a little bit more after. And this is something else that's important for me to say to you as the viewers. I'm not here to mislead you, promise you anything of getting rich fast or sell something to you. Because honestly, if you're looking for something like this, I can tell you now, this is not for you. I'm looking to build pillars of foundation that are built on value and quality content the content being videos. Every time you watch one of the videos, we're learning something, I'm learning something, because like I've already said, I'm a student and I wanna put the stuff out and share what I've learned because I'm just so passionate about it. Whenever you see people on the internet or I don't know, Elon Musk, the Jeff Bezos's of the world or other people in general, whoever you hold in high regard, in my personal opinion and things that I have seen, I see people say that now is the easiest time more than ever to become millionaires, to make money, now as we speak. And I don't have those tools right now because I don't know what they are. But if I did have them, I would share them, but I don't have them. And that's why through this community, the positivity, the community, being able to help people because that's super important to me, having access to all this information that is out there and being able to find it have access to it, learn it, master it, and apply it. And at the end of the day, I just want you to be the best versions of yourself and have the life that you deserve. And like with my first YouTube channel, Dishy Dan the Traveling Man, when I first brought my camera, my 16 pound camera, and I made the first video, I said to myself, I don't know how to make YouTube videos, but my goal was each video to get better and over a period of substantial time to improve and improve and see that progress. And me making these videos holds me to account because that works for me. But that's the type of way I see this, the videos going here that you can look back and over time, the new stuff that we're learning, that I'm learning, I'm able to implement in videos. And I'm super excited about that because right now the landscape, I don't know how it's gonna go, but we are gonna be able to adapt, learn and overcome because we're hungry and we wanna learn and become the best versions of ourselves. So just before we get to the end of the video, there's just three things that I wanna suggest that you have a look at, which is what I personally did and really helped me sort of start my journey, so to speak, down the rabbit hole of AI. And they are prompts and then two pieces of AI software called ChatGPT and MidJourney. Prompts are basically commands that you give to the software of something you would like it to do. So for example, if you want it to write you a blog post about health or a gym routine that you say to it, you wanna get stronger, you write that out as a prompt or command and then you give that to the AI, it will create what you've asked it to do. That's what a prompt is. So for example, with ChatGPT, if you take those prompts, so if you wanna create a diet plan Plan, a gym workout and you apply it to chat GPT it will create that for you <laughs> it's crazy it will create a workout plan for you it will create video ideas for your YouTube channel it will create ideas for your blog posts it, it, it's just insane it took only five days for chat GPT when it was released to gather 1 million users five days to put that into even more context it took Pinterest it took them four months to acquire 1 million users. Meta, Facebook, it took them one year to gather 1 million users. With WhatsApp and Instagram, it took them two years to gather 1 million users. And at the point of when it came out and it had 
uh, five in five days it had 1 million users it had a valuation of 20 billion dollars and I'm not looked recently but I'm sure it's even more than that now and also like chat GPT mid journey also runs on the same prompts or commands but instead of it giving you information back it designs AI art effectively is what it does it creates stunning pieces of art and I am absolutely obsessed with it I think it is crazy I think it is insane and you can say to it I want you to make a wolf wearing a hat <laughs> playing a card game in a dark room in a table and it will do that for you or if you want it to say a sunset on a beach with people walking up and down or it is literally as crazy or as wild as your imagination is that is why i'm so excited by it that's why i think there is such an opportunity with it right now so those are just a little recommendation i suggest you do just as we end the video now i want to leave you with a quote from a guy called brian tracy who's a canadian motivational speaker who has decades loads of experience going around different companies helping them to achieve higher success and it's really helped me give me direction and sort of make me think differently if I'm honest. And it goes something like this. If you take 100% of the world's population and you take 3% of that 100% of the world's population, that 3% are the people who wrote down their dreams, desires, goals, anything they want to achieve in this lifetime. And his idea is if you write anything down, it manifests, it will happen. You write it with intent, you've put it out there. And the other 97% of the people who didn't bother writing anything down are the 97% of the world's population helping the 3% achieve their goals, dreams, desires, whatever it may be. And in that, there is nothing wrong or right with that. That's down for interpretation. I think as long as you are personally happy with whatever you decide to do in life, that is the main point. But relating this to me, it really helped me have direction and point me in a way to focus and really sort of narrow down what I want. In all honesty, it helped me create this, which is something I'm super excited about. And I just wanted to leave you with that and just say a final thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.